couldn't suck a man's toe. You couldn't suck a man's toe. If it was a girl, I'd be like, oh, okay, babe, come here. Yeah, but if it was a man, I'd be like, Ugh. horrible feet. Yeah. What do you reckon makes someone good in bed? For me, if you're good at sex, you're just good at listening to someone and like yeah. finding out exactly what they want. Obviously, because I've found Alex, I feel like I have the best sex with him because we are so close. If I had some wild fantasy, I'd be so comfortable telling him. And then he would in turn be comfortable doing that for me. And like, we've just got a really strong agreement on what makes each other happy. A lot of it is communication. Yeah. What makes you bad at sex? Not listening. <laughs> Do you know what? I feel like growing up in my high sex, sex was always like talked about. My mom used to be very, well, as open as she could. She was like, no, I want you to have sex, yeah. but when you're comfortable. Did you have conversations about sex in your house? No. I did, but only with my mum. Yeah. And not like on an emotional level, more just she was like, this is how not to get pregnant. Make sure you don't, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you don't get pregnant. Make sure, do you know what I mean? In school, it's all about the sort of mechanics of it, but not the enjoyment of it and how natural it is. Yeah. And now like there's like sex toys on my feed, left, right and centre. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Mainly because of me. I could be here. <laughs> but I do think it's important. Like, growing up, I felt such a sense of shame for mm. even saying that I masturbated. Mm. And, like, for boys, it's perfectly normal. That's how you have better sex as well. Really, like, getting to know your own body, knowing what you like. When I first had sex with guys, it was very, like, performative. Yeah. The only way I knew about sex was from porn. And it was so for the man's enjoyment. Mm. I think women have, like, been told not to talk about sex it's only supposed to be like for like reproductive purposes mm. and like always seen as like being pure and holy sometimes like sex is like associated with like being like sinful and yeah. like naughty and for so long like we haven't spoken about it but i feel like recently there's been like more like sex influencers mm. we need like more, more of those of things that. to like normalize sex because it is normal. I don't think my school even done sex education. Did That's we, how I actually think the only sort of sex ed that we got was like, it was like a video, but it was like cartoons. <laughs> Primary school was like the most awkward one. Oh God. And then you got ice cream after. What? Well, I got ice cream after for <laughs> sitting through it. It was that awkward. I think my teacher was so nervous. You could see she felt uncomfortable talking yeah. about sex as a reward. I think more for her than us. She was like, everyone gets ice cream. What? That is so <laughs> random. Obviously, I like girls mm. and guys. And I think the biggest difference with girls is that there's not like a rush. I feel like with men, there's like hardly any foreplay or like try and skip the foreplay and go straight to like bang him. And yeah. it's like with girls, there's more of a connection. Mm. If it was just like one night stand, I'd have a better sex with a girl. Really? Only because I think where you've got a vagina yourself, you know no. what you're doing. <laughs> and I think it depends on what the guy grows up seeing as well. Guys would see porn and I think that's how it would be. Yeah. And maybe that's why it's sometimes so rushed with some people. And you feel like this pressure as well when you're young, don't you? I remember feeling like such a pressure to have sex for the first time. And then when I did, I was like, what the hell was that about? You know in films when girls are like pure screaming, I was like, how is she, what? <laughs> is what she just okay? happened? <laughs> No, but I think that's why we need to talk about it mm. more because where it's not spoke about, my mind was blown. I was like, so mm. how are people enjoying this? Because yeah. it was over in like five minutes. There was no foreplay. And I think no. that's the biggest thing with girls and guys. Yeah. Like, I think with girls, you're both equal and you're both mm. like pleasing each other. Whereas with men, it's easy for them to skip that part. Well, I've never been in love. Yeah. And I always hear that like, you have the best sex of your life when you're in love with your partner. I vouch for that. Yeah, I feel like you'd have more of a connection, like you would have mm. more like love in sex. But yeah. equally, on a one night stand, you can just be absolutely <laughs> wild. You'll be like, I don't care if I'm never gonna see you again, but tonight I'm doing what the hell I want. Have you ever had sex on your period? Yeah, I have. I don't know why I'm so horny when I'm on. I'm in so much pain. I don't even wanna be around any body at all. I just can't imagine being affectionate. No. To anybody else. I or being it helps. What, what I used it to helps, anybody though, else. With cramps. You're just in so much pain that you don't think of anything else. You're just yeah. you're trying to like stay alive. <laughs> to survive your period. Yeah. Your periods are awful. Oh, no, they are. If someone had a fetish in you with them, how would you handle it? I cut it off. Would you? Like, <laughs> you know what I did? I, it happened well, and I did. Oh, you did I just didn't, yeah. I think it was pegging and I'm not really into that. What's that? You put a strap on on and bang your guy. I've okay. actually had that from a guy. And Have you I, done it? 
No, I haven't done no, it. I just don't think I'd feel comfortable. When I was younger, I tried to like please guys so much or I was so like timid and shy. Mm. Like when I said I first had sex and I worried like, does my body look good in this position? Yeah. Am I moaning enough? Am I not moaning enough? As I've got older, I'm just doing it for me. Yeah. Like I'm being a little bit more selfish. And, and you should be. If it doesn't turn you on, I don't really see much point doing it unless you're really in love with that person yeah. and you're like happy to please them for that reason. I really hate feet though, so if he wanted to suck my toe, I would be seriously offended, but I think I'd do it. I couldn't suck a man's toe. You couldn't suck a man's toe. If it was a girl, I'd be like, oh, okay, babe, come here. Yeah, but <laughs> if it was a man, I'd be like, uh. horrible feet. Yeah, it's because they play football and things and they get like, corns. At least, but... <laughs> I don't want to suck your corns. <laughs>